Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car today from the Munich Auto Show with the most important Mercedes of this decade, the Concept CLA. This is the forerunner of the new Mercedes entry family, a show car that will become reality in roughly one year. If you want to know all the details and the highlights of the amazing technology underneath this beautiful skin, join me on my first walk around and I'll tell you all about it. If we take a closer look, we see the same gadgets that every show car has. We see fancy lightning, we see graphics in the grill, but I would assume since time is going on that some of these things will come into serious production as well. But don't care about the fancy lights. Let's look at the silhouette. The car is just a stunning beauty. It has lots of lines that we know from the actual CLA. It is very sleek, very slim. It just grew a little. While the actual CLA is less than 4 meters 70 in length, this will be significantly longer. Combined with the electric platform, these skateboard architectures with their very efficient making use of the room, this car should be a proper five-seater. While you had to cramp into this actual CLA, this car should offer ample space for adults on the rear as well. Something we're gonna check in a minute. Other than that, we have very, very sleek lines. We have no fuss and no nothing that could disturb the wind because Mercedes is known to be very, very aero efficient. The outgoing CLA was the champion of its time. There is no other almost production car as aero efficient as the EQXX and I would bet this car will set new records as well. But now let's take a closer look at the technology. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Come on, join me for sitting inside the car. Welcome to the new entrance into the luxury world of Mercedes. And you can point out this is really new. Same as with the A-Class a few years ago when Mercedes first introduced the MB UX system, we also have a completely new electronic architecture this time. MB OS, the operating system. As we know it from Apple and Google, also the car companies are realizing they need to be in charge of their operating system. So Mercedes has developed their own software for the car. To showcase the significance of this step, they even displayed the engine, the graphic engine, the computing unit in the car. In the production car you will not see that, but this time it is lit up and it is placed like a statue to show the new intelligence. And what is Mercedes making out of this operation system? A digital experience like never before. We have a screen from pillar to pillar divided into three clusters for the driver, for the passenger and for the infotainment of both of them. And we have a totally new and connected interoperation of all the systems in the car. The car is even ready for autonomous driving in level three. Not incorporated yet, but once legalization is done and once the prices go down, this car can be updated over the air for all future functions. So MBOS is mainly better connection of all car systems, faster development times and easier updates over the air. But MBOS is only the one pillar of innovation in this car. The other pillar is the MMA, the Mercedes Modular Architecture, the new platform of all the other family members, mainly inspired by the EQXX, which was the forerunner of the new family. That means we have a new in-house developed and produced electric motor that is more efficient than ever. We have new batteries, we have new electronics, and we have a new heat pump all to gain efficiency. And this car will be an efficiency champion. While the EQXX was able to achieve 100 kilometers with less than 10 kilowatt hours of energy, this production car will achieve an roughly 12 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer and will be the one liter car of the electric generation. It will go 750 kilometers and more on one charge. And once the battery is empty, it will charge really, really quick. It operates with 800 volts. That means it can charge with up to 250 kilowatts. Translates to 15 minutes for 400 kilometers. The only thing that is missing is the driving experience. While the EQXX was drivable and we had that car on many eco drives throughout Europe, this car is only for display and can only roll onto the stage in walking speed. But 
one year from now Mercedes will present the production version and I'm damn sure I'm gonna be back behind the steering wheel and tell you all you need to know by then. I must admit with the seats of the show car the CLA concept appears to be smaller than it actually is. If you take out these seats and put in normal seats it is really a roomy car. But that's not all that comes to my mind when I sit on the back seat. While I was really attracted by the displays and all the gadgets of the digitalization in the front row, in the back seat I'm looking for some other details. For example the charging pads for your mobile phone. Same as you know it from the Apple power banks that you can just magnetically put on the back of your phone. You can put your phone here and it charges and it's kept in place while you drive and while you watch your movies. A really smart idea. Another smart idea is the new panoramic roof. We all know the panoramic roofs from all the compact cars and from all the coupes because they increase virtually your headroom. But in this case Mercedes is going one step further. There are some star patterns integrated in this panoramic roof and since they are lit up from the side with LEDs they glow by day and by night. And if you connect these LEDs with the ambience lightning you can even change the colors and see stars in all colors of the rainbow. Yes this is a show car feature but I could imagine this could really come into production and you have a feature that you knew from Rolls-Royce and Maybach before now even in the entry class. So yes it's entry but it's still very very luxurious and it is sustainable luxury. Mercedes is aiming to become a CO2 neutral company by the year 2039 and the MMA architecture really contributes to this goal. It is 40% less CO2 consuming and the MMA architecture really contributes to that goal. It has a CO2 footprint 40% smaller than the outgoing compact family. And that's not only due to electrification, um, CO2 neutral sourcing of the materials and lots of recycling materials. That's also due to very small but very smart details. We all know the seat cushions from recycled PET bottles and we know sustainable bleached leather, all old stuff. But Mercedes has incorporated some new features. Some of the decor is not wood, it is paper. Some of the carpet is bamboo fiber and the smartest detail is the strap in the door that holds your magazines in the pockets. This is not from rubber or leather or silk. No, this is made from food waste. In a biological process this food waste becomes a fiber and that could be spun in the same function as real silk. It's looking cool, it's functional and it's benefit for the environment. Thanks for joining me on that first walk around with the new Mercedes CLA or at least the car that wants to become the next generation CLA. For me one of the most important Mercedes models of this decade. A because it shows Mercedes will still be kind of affordable. All the customers were really worried when Ola Kalenius, the boss of Mercedes announced its luxury strategy and announced that the compact cars will go away. No, the compact cars will stay. Yes, A and B class are history soon and it will be a bit more expensive to buy a Mercedes. But this car proves you don't have to be a millionaire to drive a Mercedes even in the next generation. But that is only the one message of the CLA. The other one is even more important. Mercedes has caught up with technology. EQC, EQA and EQB have been conversion models with all the disadvantages of the conversions. Not really well achieved, not really well executed and not really liked by the customers. The EVA platform of Mercedes EQS and EQE is a bit better but still not really good and no chance to compete with the Porsche architecture of the Taycan, with Neo or with Tesla. And this time Mercedes has really caught up because this car is highly influenced by the efficiency champion EQXX. And if the technology transfer from that one-off into production is really as huge as Mercedes is promising, this car is going to be an efficiency champion as well and is going to lead the pack on the electric avenue. So I can't wait to drive the production car next year. And if you're curious as well, stay tuned. You will hear all you need to know here first. 
Thank you, Shishya, Sai Chen, and goodbye.